Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Daily Mail article. Exclusive Hunter's Home would have already been raided by the Federal Bureau of Investigation if the Federal Bureau of Investigation were doing their job, says repairman who handed over laptop and is shocked biased Bureau waited so long, okay, so, uh, to target Trump. So, the computer repairman who turned Hunter's laptop over to the Bureau accused the agency of not doing their job correctly and exhibiting bias. He is 100% correct. It has nothing to do, by the way, the classified data issue and Hunter's laptop have absolutely nothing to do with videos or pictures. So the issue here is, did Hunter have access to, um, to Biden's classified data? According to the New York Post, he did. So New York Post, Hunter Biden lived at Delaware home where classified documents were kept. Any other person, so according to the New York Post and, and the Daily Mail, you're looking at the Federal Bureau of Investigation after already, after already investigating Biden's homes, they're going to get a search warrant almost certainly to, to go into even more properties associated with both Bidens. But you're looking at them raiding Hunter's properties or where he lives eventually. Because they're going to increase the heat on this. So I told people last week, I said, they're going to they're gonna investigate Biden's homes based on what James Comer and Jim Jordan and the New York Post and the Daily Mail are saying. So just based on public record reporting and what Republicans investigating the Bidens and beginning impeachment proceedings were saying... It's only a matter of time, especially after that special counsel. Based on this uh, Daily Mail article and the New York Post article, and there's another New York Post article talking about how um, he had even greater access than we thought to the classified records. They're going to investigate Hunter's uh, homes or residences. Okay, the Federal Bureau of Investigation will raid uh, probably very soon hunters um you know wh where he resides and the reason is because democrats if you if you look at adam schiff warnock pelosi they're not defending biden this is very interesting they're not defending biden and and i find it very bizarre but and i, I don't think people truly understand what's taking place they're not defending biden at all and they essentially want the man out. It's not, this isn't rocket science. They don't want the man there anymore. They want to essentially either get, have him resign before, they want to have him resign before 24, so they don't have to deal with a year of impeachment. Um, and they want to get ahead of any narrative and they want to control they want to control the negative publicity as much as they can so now they have a special counsel they have a department of justice investigation now when jim jordan and, and james Comer are trying to get documents or information they're saying well you know it's a doj investigation so there's some bureaucracy there's some bureaucratic maneuvering as well I do think it's good. There's good. They're going to turn up the heat, and Hunter's Hunter's properties are going to almost certainly be raided, according to the the, the words recently by Jim Jordan, James Comer, this Daily Mail article, and also um, numerous New York Post articles. And if you see what's taking place, if you see what's taking place, it's getting worse every single day for. Uh, it's, it's just getting worse for Biden every single day. And every single day, it just seems that you have Democrats very content. No, they, they're, they're content with the Federal Bureau of Investigation and DOJ getting involved, whether it's a special counsel or whether it's more homes being raided.
Now, Biden's home was raided, but without the fanfare of the Mar-a-Lago raid. Okay, they didn't indict Trump. They can definitely indict Hunter and Joe. So that's, there, here's the difference that everyone's talking about. Everybody from Jim Jordan to James Comer to the Daily Mail to the computer repairman, everybody. You could, you could have indicted Hunter and Joe for numerous crimes, okay? You could have easily indicted Hunter and Joe for numerous crimes. You can't indict Trump because he didn't commit a crime. He, as he's a former president at, with the power to declassify, so he did not commit a crime. That's the difference. That's the enormous difference here. The difference is that you have a situation where they're trying to get ahead of everything. They want to p- push the man to resign so they can get either vice, they can get Vice President Harris as president going into 24. I think that it sounds outlandish, but I think that's what they want. They don't want a whole year of impeachment because they know the impeachment uh, leads directly to felonies, potential felonies. Also, they can Republicans, if they got a Republican Attorney General, um, can form a special counsel on Biden after he leaves office, just like there's a special counsel on Trump. So Biden can have a second special counsel, but this time with Republicans looking at every single uh, suspicious activity report, 150 of them that financial institutions leveled at both Hunter and Joe and everybody else. And Democrats know this. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, every day, 8 and 11 a.m. Pacific time on this channel. I also talk about the fact that the Senate, there are Senate documents classified documents from the Senate that change the paradigm here. The calculus, the equation is changed now. He cannot, he cannot declassify Senate documents. So now he, there's, no, there's no defense to declassifying. The defense of, oh, well, he was vice president and could have declassified uh, documents, there doesn't, that doesn't exist anymore. There is no defense when it comes to that. So hit subscribe to this channel every day, 8 and 11 in the morning. Uh, I'll obviously have a very important segment tomorrow at 8 a.m. About, about all of this. I might have a live stream tonight, so check out the live stream tonight. Um, I might, so, so be here in a couple of hours. You should either find out if I have um, a live stream or not, but check out the channel in a couple of hours. Go to H.A. Goodman's other channel as well, 9 and 12 p.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. Pacific every morning. Become a Patreon to my new Patreons. Thank you so very, very much. And um, become a member. To the super thanks below next to the like and the share buttons. If you want to go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications, your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. So I think that this is going to be, this is going to get worse Every single day is going to get a lot worse, ladies and gentlemen. And they, I think Democrats are okay with that. I think they actually are steering all of this to turn up the heat and to get some kind of political solution or answer to a presidency that is not popular going into recession. And so they, they need, they're going to, they don't want to go into 24 with Biden and a special counsel and impeachment and more classified documents. The classified document issue is almost certainly by design. He was senator from the late 70s to 2009. So there's an endless trove of classified data everywhere. Now we're going to find out eventually that Hunter had access to classified data, that he touched, that he read classified data, okay? And that ties into the graft and potential bribery schemes that they're, they're being accused of by James Comer, Jim Jordan, Chuck Grassley. When you have Chuck Grassley investigating the Bidens, this isn't like just President Trump, former President Trump investigating his direct political rivals. Chuck Grassley is a completely new, ball, different ballgame. That's the traditional Republican Party knowing exactly what's taking place. Anyway, hit subscribe. I'll be back in a couple of hours, ladies and gentlemen. This is huge. I don't think people realize how huge it is. Give me your thoughts below. I'll be back in a couple of hours, very likely with a live stream. 
Uh, so be here. Thank you.